Hello. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. My goal is at least 20 people with an AR-15 and a couple tracer rounds. I think I can do a good time. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. It's going to be a big event. And when you see me on the news, we'll all know who I am. <laughs> You're all going to die. This is one of the disturbing tapes released by prosecutors in the Parkland school shooting of Nicholas Cruz planning his mass shooting. And today marks the tragic anniversary, six years since this horrific act was committed by 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz. And today we're going into a deep dive, deep dark dive, to his thoughts and his actions after and before the shooting. Before and after. Sometimes dating years before. And uh, the warning signs this kid showed was a little, little crazy. So let's get into it. Nicholas Jacob Cruz was born on September 24th, 1998 in Margate, Florida to his birth mother, Brenda Woodward, and an unknown father. He would immediately be adopted by Linda and Roger Cruz. Roger died in 2004 of a heart attack right in front of Nicholas when he was five or six, and his mother, three months before the shooting, died of the flu and of pneumonia. This dove Nicholas into a very depressive time in his life. A year before the attack on Stoneman Douglas, he bought an AR-15 just three days after he was expelled from the school. And after he ended up losing his mother and father, his father, like I said, when he was five, and his mother when he was 19. Sadly, she died on November 1st of 2017 just three months before the horrific crime. Nicholas had a history of being violent. He had a history of stalking people. He had a history of th threats made on the internet, inappropriate posts. One is one he posted on a vlogger's channel, and what he did was he wrote with his own name, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. At the age of 16, he told his therapist that he had dreams about killing people and being covered in blood. Which, I don't know how that's not a red sign or red flag, but uh, might I digress. The police were also called to Nicholas Cruz's home dozens of times because of him. Just just him, like, you know, like, they, they he did something wrong to his mother. He was beating on his mother or... Got mad at a video game, was destroying the house, you know, things like that it was average for him. And some warning signs that I will make in the next video that will bring to light. Well, Nicholas Cruz eventually snapped one day and told the family he was living with after both of his parents were dead. I'm not going to name them because they don't deserve any harassment. But he told them, I don't just school go to school on Valentine's Day. Later that day at around 2 p.m., he called an Uber to get, bring him to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. He had with him a guitar case, which he had his AR-15 inside of it, and he got the Uber, arrived at 2.19, the shooting started at 2.21, and ended at around 2.28, lasting about seven minutes. Though it is believed that most of the victims died or basically all the victims died within the first few minutes. Most of the time it was just him shooting randomly. He also would shoot into classrooms who did not have like those hard corners that you can hide behind. They didn't have that. So what they did was he shot through the windows, killing multiple students, and he, then he shot the students who were trapped in hallways. And The chilling reason why he stopped firing and trying to kill people well, it wasn't because his rifle jammed, which was popularly believed, or he ran out of ammo. It was because he simply ran out of people to kill. So he ran from the scene, blended in with the fleeing students, and was caught on camera ordering from a McDonald's. And then a subway where he spoke to one of the victim's brothers. And then he was eventually taken into custody when an officer recognized him from the description on the radio. 
And yeah, Nicholas's cruise, Nicholas Cru <laughs> Nicholas's cruise. Mr. Cruz's trial didn't start for nearly four four years and there was like trials and tribulations, literal trials, but eventually after it was all said and done, he was spared the death penalty which he was facing since he was 19, which is above 18, which is legal limit to face death penalty. The jury voted 9 to 3 in favor of giving Cruz the death penalty, but in Florida, the jury has to be unanimous, which was, this was changed when Ron DeSantis saw the verdict, and he was disgusted, so he changed it. Anyway, Nicholas Cruz was sentenced. He was, instead, of the death penalty was sentenced to 34 consecutive life sentences, 17 for the 17 individuals that were murdered, and 17 for the 17 people who were wounded. This was made official on November 2nd, 2022. And we still don't know what prison he's at because that's for his safety, you know, so they don't try to kill him or we don't try to do anything, you know. Oh, yeah, so basically we will never know what prison he's at. He's probably hundreds of miles away, thousands, I don't know. Here, here are the victims' faces. Their names are Alyssa Alhadef, Scott Bagel, Martin Dock, Nicholas Dorrett, Jamie Gutenberg. Aaron Feist, Luke Hoyer, Chris Hickson, Cara Lochran, Jaquin Oliver, Elena Petty, Meadow Pollock, Helena Ramsey, Alex Schachner, Cara Shentrup, sorry if I butchered any of these last names, and Peter Wang. May all of these individuals rest in peace. All of them. I hope they're resting easily. I hope they found peace. And, um... Yeah, this is kind of getting sad. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Peace out. Love you all.